Hello everyone, my name is Stefan Jokic and in today's video we are going to talk about CQRS pattern, the mediator pattern, mediator library and how it's possible to implement one without other and why to do that at all. Okay, let's start with the CQRS. CQRS stands for Command Query Responsibility Segregation and the core principles is that uh, separates read operations, queries from write operations or comments. CQRS was created for use in microservices to separate read and write operations that take place on a separate databases. So there is a database for writing data, there is a database for reading data. So why is this important? The first thing is performance issues. Queries might involve complex drawings, slowing down write operations. Another one are scalability problems. Read and writes often have different scaling needs. Also complex code. Mixing read and write logic can lead to tightly coupled and hard to maintain code. And this is perhaps one of the main reasons why it's used in monolithic architectures with one database. CQRS solves these problems by separating concerns. Let's take a look on this diagram to better understand CQRS pattern. So on the left side we have a client who is working with UI, let's say that's a user dashboard, where user dashboard allows us to work with the user entity, add user, update user, delete user, get user by ID, get all users, filter users, etc. So in CQRS pattern we are segregating commands and queries where commands are changing the state of the database, add user will change the state of the database, update user or also delete user will change the database. Queries are just get method operations and requests so those are merged into queries. Commands uh, will write to the database which can be represented as tables or event sourcing and queries will get data from the read database which are materialized views. Of course those two databases need to be synchronized so we are using eventual consistency for example event bus for example rabbitmq. So this is the basic diagram of using CQRS pattern in microservices most of the time and for the monolith usually we have write database and read database represent as one database but commands and queries are separated modules or separated classes in the project. Okay let's talk about mediator pattern right now. Mediator introduces a central mediator object that handles communication between components. Instead of talking to each other directly, components communicate with the mediators which manages the, their interactions. The real world example would be a control tower in aircraft. Instead of pilots communicating with each other, they communicate with central authority control tower, which is a mediator between airplanes, so the communication is clear and controlled. So here let's see some flow without mediator and with a mediator just to see the difference and make it clear. As a client I can call add user, get user or update user methods, for example on endpoint. And here we have a, some business logic service in some class and that business logic service contains add user, get user and update user methods all in one class on one concern. I know for all three methods in the business logic service when I want to uh, add user I will call separated method add user. If I want to get a user I will call get user and it is the same story for update user. Okay how this look like with a mediator? Instead of calling directly business logic service and instead of calling directly those methods we have introduced a mediator between the user between the client and core logic. I know that I want to add user, update user or delete user. I will just send command and user to the mediator and mediator will know that command should be sent to the add user business logic service method. And the whole point here is that I as a client, for example as a controller or minimal API, I don't know anything about business logic service and anything about add user, get user and the update user methods. So this is the main difference between project without mediator and with mediator. So here we can see mediator library for implementing mediator pattern. 
here is a question why people often use mediator a library for implementing mediator pattern in combination with secures pattern the one reason is the coupling so controllers don't need to know the implementation details of the common and queries also there is a pipeline behavior that allows us to easily add login caching and retry policies via decorators also automatic di resolution no need to manually inject all the necessary handlers for all the commands and queries and also we have cleaner controllers controllers only send the requests command or queries and they don't direct handle the logic and yes most of the time people are using secures pattern with combination of mediate r library but you don't need to do that and now i will show you how to implement secures pattern without mediator library let's go to the visual studio here we have a clean.net 9 project with only one map get and point minimal api to get a user by id so here i could have some user service so here i could have some user service that will call get by id and i will pass id and i will get stefan jokic in this case i know about get by id method in user service so here we are going to implement secures pattern without mediate our uh, library the first thing i'm going to do is to create some common uh, interfaces the common parts of the secures pattern are request queries and commands also we need queries handlers and commands handlers and on top of that we need dispatchers that we will use to send those commands and queries so the first interface i'm going to create is i command handler as in parameter i will have t command and as a result i will have t command result we will have task that returns command result and we can name it instead of execute let's name it handle because it's a handler i will pass t command and cancellation token let's do the same thing for the i query handler and with that we have also created t query handler as i said we will need dispatchers to use them for sending those requests the first dispatcher i'm going to create is i common dispatcher and here i'm going to write a method that will return t command result we will pass the common and we will pass the cancellation token and we need to do that also for the i query dispatcher okay now we have our common interfaces now let's implement those interfaces the first thing we are going to implement are dispatchers so let's have command dispatcher in common dispatcher let's use primary constructor to get service provider we will need to get all handlers and i will implement i command dispatcher the first thing we need to do is to get a handler for the certain command i will call service provider get required service and i will pass i command handler with a t command and t command result for that handler i will call method that we created which is handle so if i send for example add user as a command user result will be command result and for the add user command i will find the respective command handler which will be add user handler i will get required service by service provider and on that handler i will call handle method can do the same for the query dispatcher for the query dispatcher it is completely the same process so i will just type it right now instead of having command we have query so instead add user command we will have get user by id query okay right now we have prepared the basics for the secures pattern if we want to create some commands and queries we will need to create a separate query and query handler let's say for example we want to get user by id i will create new folder let's name it handlers and since we are creating a query let's name this folder queries and we will let another one for the commands for the queries we said that we are going to create 
get user by the query and let's say that we are passing integer id for that query we need to create a handler get user by the query handler this handler will implement i query handler that we have created query handler for the input parameter accepts the query which is get user by the query and for the query result let's create a class user that will return user object with id and the name okay we need to implement this query okay so this method is a handler for the operation we need to execute in this case we want to get user by id in real world application here you would write something like user repository get user by the query with a past command id and you will return that user but here for the clarity i will just return a new user with the id which is past id and with the name which is let's say Stefan Jokic and now we can call this method from the minimal API in order to do that the first thing I need to do is to register dispatchers also the another thing I need to do is to register query handlers and to register command handlers for the dispatchers let's add it as a singleton on the left side we have I command dispatcher and the implementation of that is command command dispatcher let's do the same for i query dispatcher okay now for query handlers imagine that we have like more than 20 query handlers which is real world case instead of to register each one separately we can use reflection to go through assemblies to find each implementation of i query handler and to register it with the i let's name this method register query handlers and let's pass it builder the first thing i'm going to do is to get type which is in app domain current domain get assemblies I will select all the types and I need to filter those types I need that type is a class also it's not abstract class also if I get all the interfaces for that class I need all the interfaces which are the type of iQuery handler is generic type and I get generic type definition it's equal to type of iQuery handler so I'm scanning that assemblies for the current domain and I'm trying to get all the necessary types which are classes which implements iQuery handler when I get those list of the types I can go through all the types for type in types okay let's name it types so for each type I will need to get interface type which I can get by type get interfaces and I will need to filter that at interface is generic type and also to get type definition to be type of iQuery handler for reach that interface type I will need to register interface type as interface and I will need to register type and that's it this piece of code will go through all the assemblies to find all the types that are connected with iQuery handler for all of those classes it will try to find all the interfaces which definition is iQuery handler handler and for the all types it will register those types as a singleton of interface type and implementation of the type we can do the same process for the command handlers i will skip this process i will just implement it so i have done the same thing for the register commands handlers so we have now register query handlers and commands handlers finally we can create a request with get user by id query and dispatch that to the right handler here in a minimal api we will need a parameter from the uh, DI which is I query dispatcher when a request comes to the minimal API I will create a query and I will pass ID that we got from the parameter and I will use query dispatcher to dispatch get user by the query and I'm expecting result of the user and I will pass query and I will pass cancellation token that I need to pass also here and let's return if user is null I will return result not found if user exists I will return return okay with a past 
user and i can delete this one let's try this request let's start the application my application is up and running and if i try for example user slash one i will enter to the minimal api methods we have id which is one here we are going to create get user by the query let's continue this process i will enter to the query dispatcher why because i need to figure out where to dispatch and where to send this query so i have this query which is type get user by the query i will find the handler for that query which is get user by the query handler and i will call handle method on that handler let's continue with that as you can see i'm in get user by the query handler you can see the command that we sent which contains id equal to one and as a last step i will return new user with that id and with my name and here you can see json result id equal one and name equal stefan jokic so when should you implement this without mediator library and with mediator library so implementation that we have done in video which is without mediator so your application is simple and small you just need the basic qrs without some abstractions the another thing is that you want more explicit control over dependencies because with mediate are a library you cannot do that really and when should you implement this with a mediator whenever you have large and complex system with many abstractions and with many commands and queries also you want to strict separation of concerns and if you're using event sourcing so so that's it for today if you found this video helpful give it a like don't forget to subscribe for more.net content see you next time dream big